No Film School's coverage of NAB is brought to you by My Road Reel, the world's largest short film competition, is back. Shutterstock, your source for stunning HD and 4K footage, plus high quality music. Blackmagic Design, amazing solutions for film, post production, and television. Hey guys, it's Andy with No Film School. I'm here with Matt at Preston. Preston, who's known for having high-end wireless follow focus solutions. Uh, what are you showing us today, Matt? Hi, today we're showing the Light Ranger 2, which is an infrared uh, ranging device. It's a complement to our FIS-3 follow focus system, and it has both manual modes and autofocus modes. So let's go through the manual mode. So over here on the monitor, there are 16 distinct uh, rectangles corresponding to 16 distance measurements. So the Light Ranger is using infrared to measure the distance at each of these points across the frame. The rectangles below the horizontal line are in front of where the lens is currently focused. The rectangles above the line are behind where you're focused. And then once you're in the depth of field, the bars turn green. So this gives you instant visual feedback of what's where in the, in the frame and which way you need to move the knob. So see these bars are below here. I can turn the knob towards close focus. He's inside the close focus of the lens so I won't be able to catch up to him. So instead of looking down at a number and back up at the action and back down at the number, you have everything you need right here on your monitor display. So the second mode is the autofocus mode which you toggle here on the hand unit three. Autofocus on. In the autofocus mode, you can select which rectangles you want to have the lens autofocus to. And it's going to range to the closest distance it measures in the target zone. So, using the directional pad on the hand unit three, you can move that target zone left or right. Using the up and down arrows, you can decrease or increase the size. And then the Light Ranger has a set 18 degree field of view. So as you zoom in or out, the bars scale accordingly to show you what you're actually looking at in the frame. Now, I've heard some, some ACs and uh, talk about how they don't like to look at the monitor, they like to just use the numbers. And so clearly you've, you've designed something that is, puts more focus on the monitor. And right. Any comment on that? Um, yeah, I mean, it, it certainly does have its, its, its application for those who are pulling at the monitor. Um, if you are, you know, you step away to look at the action and you're not using your monitor, you do still have the traditional readout here on your hand unit 3 display like you would get from a Cinetape um, or Sniper or something like that, which is also doubled up here in the left hand corner. Um, but typically, the application that this was designed for is the set, uh, someone pulling off the monitor because it's becoming more and more common these days. Uh, and what is the price point for an AC who would like to add this to their kit? Um, for just the Light Ranger kit, which is the infrared module, as well as the graphical overlay box here that lives at the monitor, it's 10000 And then the Fizz 3 kit itself with the three motor setup is 27000 And when will this be in rental houses then? Um, it's in a couple rental houses now. Uh, Keslo, Otto Nemmons have them, um, some people in Europe and we're starting to ship now in the next couple weeks. All right, cool, thank you, Matt.